team for the jeans, I'm dripping. Wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was listen. Listen, listen, listen. got a bitch, I lick. Yeah. On my shot, we lick. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Whole lot of bad What's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto. Coming back at it again with these daily updates, right? So today we're going to move real quick. We ain't got a lot of stuff to go over, but, you know, it's always the usual stuff. So if you guys are brand new to degen yield farming, just understand it's definitely different than regular yield farming. So, you know, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys check out my tutorials first. After you guys run through all that, then come on back, all right? But besides all that, I always go through the BSC farms first. Then afterwards, I hit the polygon farms. So if all you guys want to do is check out the polygon farms, feel free to go ahead and skip to the middle of the video. Just continue from there. All I ask is that, you know, smash that like button before you do, all right? <laughs> but uh, with all that out the way, man, let's get started. So as you guys can see, first things up, mix swap. I'm going to run down over here, hit that harvest. Like I told you guys, um, some of the farms that are actually, you know, lasting a couple days or so, I'm going to try my best to try to just let it... Uh, farm the whole day the whole 24 hours and then jump in as you guys remember this was at 460 yesterday so right now we're looking at around 440 obviously you know i'm gonna sell off do whatever i'm doing but like i told you guys once this hits around 420 i need to bounce out you know i need to take all this um basically the profit i got and just shake so those are obviously my moves and like i always tell you guys your moves are different all right but you know i'm trying to tell you the, the same things that i do to make money and profit from this is the same thing i'm telling you guys so you know, so just keep that in mind, all right? But if you guys want to check out MixSwap, the link will be down in the description, like always. And then, you know, just make sure you guys pay attention to the uh, price chart to make sure that this isn't, you know, dropping down too heavy. And then uh, click on more and then check out the docs, all right? But you already know the deal, so. <clears throat> so next one that we got is Restaurant DeFi. It's pretty chill, obviously, you know, this has like a little uh, buy and sell thing, so that way... It, it basically depends on when you buy and when you when you're able to sell so um, obviously you know once the farming starts and everything hits you guys will be able to figure out what's going on right now the uh, farming countdown is basically one day so so as soon as the farm is ready dude you know you guys will be able to take off so right now when I uh, reset it what you guys were looking at was actually the uh, buy and sell timer so when you buy something you have to wait like f I think four or five hours till you guys sell so if you guys were doing what i told you guys you guys came here hit more you guys checked out the docs you would see that that's exactly what they're talking about right here their little harvest lockup what they're doing um you know you would see all of that right here this tells you everything that you guys need to know about uh, what's going on about you know buying and selling all of that stuff so if you guys want to check this out right here where it says anti-bot it'll let you know what's going on with the sales all right so you can see you know, selling all that must be at least five hours apart. So you guys can buy as many times as you guys want, but all your sales and everything have to be, you know, five hours apart. So that's kind of the way that they're trying to keep the bots and whales from just dumping. The, uh, I think the, uh, what is it? Uh, <clears throat> my bad. The uh, max transaction, I think is like five. So, you know, if a whale was to have bought, you know, like 20 or 30, he can't dump all 30 they have to dump five at a time and they have to wait five hours in between. So obviously, you know, they're going to try to figure out a way to get around that. But until they do, you know, that seems like a little system that's going to work out. So make sure you guys check out the docs. Like I tell you guys, make sure you guys check out the price chart so you guys know when is a good time to jump in on the native side. If that's what you guys want to do. And then make sure you guys come over here where it says restaurant farms and just check out the farms. All right. This is going to be a long lockup, just like lava cake. So like I said, read the docs so that you're familiar with everything. But, you know, without out the way, we expect this to at least, you know, rock off okay. We're not saying that this is going to be Lava Cake 2.0 and that, you know, it's going to be looking at $1,000. But, you know, this should be a strong farm. Lava Cake, that farm kept going for weeks. So, you know, they didn't give up and just bounce out. And, you know, we're expecting this to do the same. So, but um, you guys already know what's up. So, like always, links down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Just make sure you guys check what I always tell you, docs and charts. You guys will be fine. So, uh, <clears throat> all right, so next one up we have is Eclair. This is 100% a one-day farm. This is also a long harvest lockup. So if you guys like that, you know, go ahead and check this one out. Check out the docs, check out the charts, you know, run through everything. If you guys don't like these har long harvest lockups, you know, you guys are tired of the scarab stuff and all that. You guys are tired of, you know, being in there for a whole week just to see that your harvest, what you guys are grabbing is like, you know, 10 bucks or less than that just pass you can just go ahead pass on a clear run up to the other ones all right so 
if you guys want you know a strong farm like this i would suggest that you guys check out restaurant only because of lava cake you know it's always best to kind of go with a uh, a farm that actually has a reputation first so with that out the way dude uh, if you guys want to check out eclair go ahead links down in the description um, i already went over it the other day so i'm just gonna skip it all right and then um talking about skipping stuff next one up a galena swap uh i don't know what's up with their ui but they still haven't fixed it so you know until they do i'm basically not gonna cover it so galena swap i had the link down in the description and i'll have it again so hopefully they fix with whatever this is and then um you know you guys can check it out but I went over it the other day, so in case you guys want to check it out, just look at the yesterday's video, and you know you guys can review it. But uh, moving on, next one up we got is Piranha Swap. So Piranha Swap is pretty chill. It's definitely nothing awesome. 100% is gonna be a one-day farm, most likely a bleeder. If we check out the farms and come on over here, you know we got in the millions on other stuff. So this was, you know, what I'm for sure is gonna be a bleeder, but you know you guys never know. This could uh, end up rocking off after the two hours. This could catch itself. You know, it all depends. Sometimes these small market cap uh, coins and farms, they pull in a good little amount of people and sometimes they do money. So, but yeah, man, if you guys want to check it out, the link will be down in the description. Make sure you guys come over here, hit the price charts, and then make sure you guys check out the uh, doc so that way you guys know what's going on. But uh, besides that, man, we're just going to keep it moving to uh, Supergirl. So Supergirlian is 100% a bleeder I told you guys so anyone who was in here um, just rocking you guys are gonna bleed this farm out till it's dead essentially this is never gonna rise back up but let me uh, check the charts real quick as it's bleeding out like this you know anytime you guys see you know people going in for the buys and picking it back up this is the time where you want to sell your harvest then just keep farming 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 you know whatever it is it drops down if someone picks it back up a bit that's when you want to sell your harvest so that's how bleeders work you basically threw in um let's just say you threw in your dot bnb or you threw in right here your usd cb B, usd you would sit here and you would just keep harvesting non-stop just keep harvesting every like two hours or three hours and then just sell so yeah that's basically a bleeder and that's exactly what we thought super minion and super Gurlion was going to be so you know if you guys want to check that out i would suggest that you just pass because once a bleeder has already started there's no point in jumping in late Obviously, you know, I could be wrong, but if we check the price charts, like I always tell you, you guys can see if we look up here at the uh, market cap, it's 700 bucks, all right? And if we come over here to see what the actual LP is and what the liquidity is, it's literally 165 bucks and then one that's 54 in BNB. So that means when you guys are trying to sell, let's say you guys try to sell like 40 or 50 bucks, the price impact is going to be extremely high. So, you know, like I said, bleeders, you guys just want to sit there and bleed them out, sell three, four dollars at a time, whatever. And then, um, you know, just make those moves. So if you guys are already in here, like I said, you guys are doing fine. Just keep bleeding it out. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone already paid off their deposit fees within like the first, uh, what, hour or two. So everything after that is just free money up until the farm's dead. But um, you guys already know what's up. So I'm just going to pass on since there's nothing on. But I'm just going to keep it moving. So. Next one up we got is Halloween Swap, and uh, Halloween Swap seems pretty chill. I was keeping my eye on it. Um, if we come down here, you guys can see, you know, it's a low market cap, and, you know, that's kind of why I was just keeping it away from you guys. But the devs have been active. They've been doing everything to push everything. The Telegram, you know, they're semi-active in there, so that's why I'm bringing it up. If you guys want to check it out, like I said, hit the farm so you guys can see what's going on. You guys can see what the harvest lockups look like. But like always, like I always tell you guys, run down over here, hit the uh, docs, and then hit the price charts, right? Docs are going to be right here in the more, and then the price chart is going to let you know what's going on. You're not going to see anything, though, because you actually have to wait for the, uh, <laughs> you guys got to have to wait for the token to pop off. So, you know, just wait right here until uh, the token pops off. And like I said, <clears throat> make sure you guys check out the countdown so you guys know what's going on. And then, you know, check out the docs so you guys know what's up. And then lastly, once the uh, token pops off, make sure you guys have that price chart so you guys are ready. But um, yeah, man, link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. And that's Halloween Swap. So next one up we got is Picaroon. <laughs> Picaroon Dog is by the same devs as Scarab. I'm almost 100% sure it is. But, uh, you know, don't quote me. If you guys want to check it out if, or if you guys like Scarab, go ahead, jump down in here, check it out. Make sure you guys come over here, hit that info and then hit the doc. All right. The docs are important because when you check out the docs, it's going to tell you anything that has to do with Harvest Lockup. See this Harvest Lockup? I know you guys want me to click on it, <laughs> but I'm not, all right? Please, please read these docs, guys. 
you know, I don't want you guys just to get used to being lazy and just seeing someone on YouTube just talk about a farm and then you guys just jump in without paying attention to what's going on, all right? So, of course, I'm going to hit that damn button for you guys, but just pay attention, all right? So, harvest lockup, as you guys can see, they have the harvest lockup that's shown right on the uh, farm. So, obviously, it's 48 hours. That's what you guys are looking at. If we uh, move on back so you guys can see what's going on, it says it right here, 48 hours. That's the lockup. It's going to be the same lockup for everything. And if you're bad at math, 48 hours is two days. So, like I said, man, make sure you guys check out those docs so you guys know what's going on. Check out the pools to see, you know, if you guys like whatever you guys are looking at. And then, like always, price charts, all right? Hit that price chart so you guys know whether you want to jump in on the native side or not. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this is by uh, the Scarab dev. So, if you guys did good with Scarab, jump on over here. And if you didn't do good with Scarab, you know, then maybe, uh, like I said, still check this out. You know, it's a 48-hour lockup thing instead of the, uh, what was it, a 196 and a 96 or something like that, which is ridiculous. So, you know, if you guys want to check that out, link will be down in the description. And if not, like I said, just pass. But uh, with that out the way, man, we're going to move on. Next one up, we got a Zebra Finance, another one-day farm. Uh, you guys told me to come over here and check it out. The market cap looks chill. Obviously, this is all on BSC side, so we don't expect huge market caps. But uh, if you check out the pools and the farms, you guys can see they got some crazy stuff going on, right? So make sure you guys pay attention to the docs, all right? Come over here, hit more, check out those docs. That'll let you know what's going on. It'll let you know how high the transfer tax is if they have one. You know, they'll let you know what's going on with the whole uh, farm, essentially. So after you guys are done reading those docs and everything, you guys want to jump in still, make sure you guys hit the price charts. Extremely important. Right click, open link, a new tab. All right, now you're looking at it. So you're like, oh man, is this a good time to jump in? It's going up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Oh, look, it goes up. Well, what do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna go down. <laughs> so if this was you, I would suggest just wait. Because if this was me and I was like, man, I wanna buy in, I won't, I'll still wait. If this follows the exact same pattern, dude, I'll just wait for it to follow a pattern. Even if it goes up, it'll still have to go down. And once it goes down, wherever it goes down, that's when I'll pick up, so. Like I said, dude, I tell you the same things that I do. I see a farm. I hit those price charts so I know what's going on when, to see if it's strong or not. You know, the price charts tell you what's going on with the market cap. It lets you know what the liquidity looks like already that's inside. Liquidity, that's what uh, determines uh, price impact. So if there's super low liquidity, dude, and you're trying to buy or sell extremely high, the price act impact is insane. So... Like I said, I check out the price charts, I check that out. Then I come down here and I check out the docs. After I'm done reading about this, I make my decision on whether Zebra Finance is a one day, a one week, and such and so forth. So, you know, I'm just telling you guys the same moves that I make. So, <laughs> you know, you guys should be fine, all right? But um, like always, dude, links will be down in the description. You want to check it out. This is 100% a one day farm, but I could be wrong. So, anyways, besides that, we're just going to keep it moving to the last one. So last one up we got is Luna Finance, and uh, Luna is basically a one-day farm, doesn't look too special. However, they do have a couple little things that are different. So like always, you guys come over here, you can't hit the price chart because you guys have a pre-sale. But if you guys come over here and hit the never before <laughs> seen features or the special features, it'll bring up the docs. The docs is what you want to check out, alright? So let me move back real quick and let's just hit that pre-sale. So if we come over here on the pre-sale side, you know, obviously we're all burnt out by pre-sales. We don't like them. Uh, you already know me. I don't like them. I only throw like 30 or 40 bucks. You know, I, don't, I never go heavy. But, you know, they're talking about doing a special little thing that's going to hold the pre-sale from dumping. So if you guys want to check that out, you know, like I said, you read the docs and they're going to tell you what the seeping claim is. Obviously, you know, I'll just break it down for you real quick, but we'll just move it on down here. Essentially... Uh, let's move up right here for every five minutes you can claim one percent of your pre-sale amount so they broke it down with a little math over here if you you know got a thousand pre-sale tokens which jesus christ i don't know why you would but if you got a thousand if you waited five minutes and then you know pulled out you would only pull out you know ten percent whatever or five percent everyone else you know who didn't pull out you know it has the same amount so if you waited two hours you know and you pulled out uh you would have, you know, 780, whereas someone who was pulling out every uh, five minutes or something, that's what they would have. So they're kind of breaking down the little math on it. If you guys kind of, you know, are tired of the 
the way pre-sales are going, I would suggest, you know, just try this one out. Don't go heavy at all. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to throw like 40 bucks, all right? Obviously, I don't trust this, so I'm just going to throw like 40 bucks at something. I'll probably, uh, you know, maybe buy half a Luna or something. And then, you know, same thing with Nova. Maybe I'll buy like 40 bucks of Luna. Or actually, no, my bad. I'll probably buy like maybe 40 bucks of Nova and like, yeah, I said like half a Luna or whatever. And then just see how this works. You know, obviously, like I always tell you guys, I don't like to go heavy on pre-sales. But, yeah, and when something new comes up or something, you know, I like to have my hand in it. So, besides all that, this 100% looks like a one-day farm. If you guys check out the docs, you guys will read everything else. You know, if it has a harvest lockup or anything, you guys will find out. If they have any kind of seeping harvest rewards or something. I mean, I don't know if they do, but you will. <laughs> you will 100% find out by reading those docs, all right? So, like always, man, link will be down in the description. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and hit us up. Let us know what's up. But, um, yeah, man, that's basically going to be it for the BSC side. Uh, Last-minute shout-outs. You know, maybe you guys want to check out MixSwap. It's been up and down right now. Looks like it just jumped back up, so that's cool. Uh, Restaurant DeFi is basically layer two of Lava Cake from the same devs. So, you know, we don't expect this to rug or anything like that. It might not be the greatest farm in the world, but, you know, at least we expect it to still be here. Uh, lastly, besides that, like I said, maybe check out Halloween Swap. And then, um, <clears throat> and uh, besides Halloween Swap, you know, just check out uh, Luna Financia. <laughs> that little new feature is even worth anything. So, but you guys already know what's up. So, just give me some time to switch on over to Polygon real quick, and then we'll continue from there. All right, guys. So now we're over here on the Polygon side, and first things up, you guys already know Swamp Finance. Man, dude, I hope you guys jumped in when I brought this to you guys back when it was like at 36 bucks. You know, we've been farming. Everything looks super good. Um, obviously, that's not my total deposit. It's a little bit more than that. But that's actually what my P-Wings is worth. So if you guys remember, dude, I bought P-Wings and it was like at 150, maybe 160. So, so far, my LP has gone up uh, 40 bucks. So obviously, that's awesome. Um, if you guys come over here, you guys can see that uh, I'm also in the... P, uh, P Swamp USDC, so you know, I'm rocking that, for some reason, uh, <laughs> the little uh, numbers ain't really working so cool, so hold on, let me just refresh this real quick to see if the numbers pop up, and uh, yeah, so, so far right now, I'm already at 17 bucks, and obviously, P Swap and everything is up, so if you guys jumped in when I jumped in, you guys are fine, so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that, and then, um, like I said, the P Wings that I'm already in, uh, I got six bucks right here to harvest and obviously P wings is up. So, you know, this is all just free money And like I was telling you guys P wings had a zero percent deposit fee and uh, So did this one. So does this top one So if you guys got in on the day, I told you guys, you know, you guys didn't have to pay no deposit fee no nothing. So uh, With all that out the way what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest this and Then I'm gonna pair it up with some more USDC and then I'm just gonna throw it in here Obviously, you know, I like free money and my moves, like I said, is usually different than your guys' so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, harvest both of that. With all that out the way, like I said, um, man, hopefully you guys jump in. Obviously, this is pretty high. It's off, it's off the top, so, you know, maybe you guys might want to jump into something else, but like always, make sure you guys whip out a price chart. If you guys see the price chart, you guys will kind of know when to jump in when not to, so obviously, link will be down in the description like all the rest. <laughs> hopefully, you guys jump in, all right? But uh, with that one out the way, man, we're going to keep it moving. Next one up we want to talk about is Polly Wants a Cracker. So the uh, farm still hasn't popped off yet, and the price action has been pretty ugly. Another thing is uh, when we check out the farms, let me go ahead and reset everything. I want you guys to pay attention to the APR, all right? Pay attention to the APR on everything that you're looking at on the native versus the non-native. So you guys check out the pools and the single pools. Just check out all the APRs, all right? They have a little bonus, and if you guys were in the Telegram, this is what they voted on. So, like always, dude, I tell you guys, check out the price charts, check out the docs, and then I always tell you guys, check out the Telegram. So, if you guys were in there, like I said, none of this is a surprise, all right? So, like always, man, make sure you guys make your moves according to the APR, to the price of the chart, and then to your capital or whatever it is that you guys are willing to risk. So, probably once a cracker is going to be popping off pretty soon. Make sure you guys have the, uh, let me see. <laughs> Yeah, it pops off right now in about four hours, five hours. So, you know, make sure you guys have that little countdown ready. And when you guys see this video, you know, it should probably be already popped off. But if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys already know what's up. So, 
The uh, link will be down in the description still. And, you know, we'll just keep it moving. All right, so next one up is Pear. And, man, dude, I've been telling you guys, right? So it rocked up from 88 uh, cents the other day. Went all the way up to $1.20. You know, I harvested in front of you guys. It was like 50 bucks, whatever it is. And then, um, you know, like I told you guys what I was going to do. I ended up grabbing that. And then I threw it over here. I paired it some more. So now I have uh, more Pear Rapmatic. So I'm going to do it again. And you guys are going to see that uh, after I pair everything, I should be looking at over 200 something. So, <clears throat> obviously, uh, let me just go ahead and hit that dashboard so I can just harvest this real quick. And then we'll run with that. So, like before, like you guys saw, um, you know, some of it's going to go into the locker and the other half is going to come to me. So, that other half that I pick up right here is what I'm going to pull into the USDC. So... Like I said, I'm going to do that uh, off screen, but just know that this 33 bucks, I'm going to pair up with more, you know, USDC. And that's going to be another $60 that's going to be added to the uh, farm over here up on the top side. So this will end up being a 200 and what, like 220 or something like that, maybe 240. So, um, you know, next time you guys check it out, that's what this is going to be. Hopefully the price of pair, you know, drops down, jumps back up again. But um, obviously I'm running both of these. You guys can see. This one popped up. Like I told you guys, I like to jump in with about 100 bucks, test it out. If it looks good, I throw in the rest. So that's what I did. I threw in the rest, and, you know, I'm just chilling. Obviously, free money's good. Um, they do have a uh, the, what that? transfer tax. So, you know, after I threw everything in, I think I was looking at 480 afterwards. But obviously, pair is up. So, you know, free money's free money. But with that being said, like I always do, the link's going to be down in the description. I want you guys to check out the docs. If you guys come down over here, you know, you guys have the Telegram. You guys also have their little medium, so you guys can check out what's going on. You know, let you kind of understand the locker a little better. But you guys already know what's up, so shout out to the, uh, what, like three or four people that jumped in. <laughs> Man, dude, I wish all you guys would have jumped in. There's way too many people jumping to these one-day farms, and not a lot of people are jumping into a pair or into swamp. So, you know, hopefully you guys take my advice whenever I'm giving out good advice. But, you know, you already know what's up, so. But uh, yeah, man, that's basically it for Pairs app. So if you guys want to check it out, link's in the description. We're just going to keep it moving. All right, so next one up we got is Polygon Farm, Spade, popping off. Uh, the other day, I kind of told you what was going on. Same thing with Spade today. Everything's chill. It's looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to most likely harvest that and I'm either going to sell it off or, you know, move this little profit to... Um, Probably the Pairs app. Most likely I'll be real with you. I'll probably just sell this off to USDC and then add that to Pairs app. Maybe change that uh, $33 of Pair into 40 bucks. So obviously, like I tell you guys, man, everyone makes their own moves. Um, I <laughs> totally forgot to put this to dark mode, so we're going to leave it like that. But um, yeah, man, if you guys want to check it out, Spade's been extremely steady. So, you know, make your guys' moves. The link's down in the description like always. I think only about like two of you guys actually jumped in here, so... You know, if you guys are looking for good farms, like I said, dude, Pear Zap is smashing, Swamp is smashing, Polygon Farm, dude, has been smashing for like over a whole week straight. Like I said, the uh, APRs to everything else is super low, which is kind of why I didn't bring it up, but native side, it's killer. So for all you DGens, you know, you guys want to be playing with the native side. But uh, with that out the way, like I said, link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. I'm just going to keep it moving. So dead in the water, Polytide, oof. Bro, right after I made the video, we spiked up pretty heavy. And then, um, you know, once the price got a little too high, I kind of knew it was going to dump out. So you'd already know I had to bounce out. I took all my profit, shook. And then, um, you know, the video basically popped out after the big drop kind of happened. So it's not like you guys were getting wrecked or anything. But basically from what I think it was like five or six bucks, it has just been dropping straight down. So there's kind of no reason to jump in. Uh, if you guys jumped in, hopefully you guys you know do what i say you guys always check the price charts and do everything that way you guys know when to jump out so obviously oysters i feel like is dead in the water however keep an eye on the price chart the reason why apr is extremely high so if this ever finds a bottom where it just bottoms out completely and all the whales jump out and this levels out you might want to jump back in here just to be able to pull in because if a bunch of people pull back in on the floor let's say the floor is like 60 cents Let's say everyone jumps back in at 60 cents. You know, people can pick it all the way back up to a dollar. And if you're doing, you know, let's say this is 30% when it's at 60 cents, 
you know, it's going to be some good money. So obviously, you know, like I said, this is dead. Just go ahead and pass on it. But just keep an eye on the price chart just in case you guys want to play around. So uh, that's Polytide. And we're just going to keep it moving. Next one up is Polyquail. You guys can see I pulled everything out as well. I pulled everything out, uh, I think, when it like nine bucks or something like that. Because I know it went straight up under ten bucks. So I had to pull out. Um, I sold everything, did everything I wanted to do. It leveled again around seven bucks. So I jumped back in. And I was only in for maybe about two or three hours before it started dropping. So since it just dropped, I just took everything out. And then uh, I just moved everything around. So like always, make sure you guys make your moves according to the APR and the price chart. You guys never want to just lose money or just let something sit and farm because you think it's going to come back. You know, if you're not sure, like I said, just cut your losses as, as quick as you possibly can. And then take those funds to another farm where you can actually make some money. So... You guys can see I'm in a couple farms right now that are just printing money. So I know a lot of you guys always say that these DGEN farms, you know, aren't good or, you know, whatever it is. And I would agree with you. You know, we probably get about 10 out of 100 that are actual gems. So when we find them, like I'm saying, dude, you guys gotta really got to jump in when you guys get a chance. So Polyquil is pretty uh, down. However, if this can stay around 5 bucks and maybe creep back up, you know, it might be a good time to buy in. So... But, um, yeah, I mean, you guys already know what's up. So, since it's kind of out, the links for uh, Tide and Polyquail will actually be in my old video. So, if you guys want to check that out, just check out yesterday's video, and the links will be there. But, um, with that out the way, man, let's just keep it moving. Next one up we got is Kunai, and Kunai is obviously terrible. Right now, it's farming, so, you know, everyone's doing whatever. No one is happy. <laughs> no one is, you know, stoked about Kunai. So, I can say this is for sure a flop, and, um... You know, it is what it is. Obviously, Dojo did okay. Kunai just did terrible. So, if you guys were in the pre-sale, <laughs> pre-sale tanked. And, you know, you guys lost a lot of money. So, it is what it is. Obviously, I always tell you guys, dude, this is crypto, bro. This isn't a guaranteed uh, get-rich scheme. So, obviously, you know, you guys win some and you lose some. There's some pre-sales that pop off incredibly, incredibly successful. You know, let's say that uh, IDO or that IJO from... Um, Jet swap, dude, P Force, it was insane. Obviously, P Force itself, the token, is a flop. <laughs> it is what it is. But like I said, certain pre sales, they pop off. So this wasn't one of them. And it is what it is. If you guys want to check out the farm, like I said, come over here, check out the farms, check out the pools, pay attention to the APRs. If you're looking at the APRs and you know they look terrible, it looks like it's going to take way too long to get that deposit, then just pass. But um, yeah, man, the uh, link for this one will also be in the old video. So if you guys want to check it out, just check out yesterday's video. And uh, yeah, man, you can grab it from there. So with that one out the way, let's move on to some one-day farms. This one's popping off uh, today in a bit. Obviously, this is a one-day farm completely. If you guys come down here, you guys can see, you know, it's not a huge market cap and nothing's crazy. So if you guys want to play around in here, the link's already... <clears throat> if you guys want to play around in here, like I said, the link will be down in the description. And I'm going to kind of put a little section for uh, one day farms only. So I'll try to separate, you know, the other farms from this one. So if that's what you want to check out. It'll be down there. But um, like I said, before you guys do, make sure you guys have that chart so you guys know when to jump in or jump out and then check the docs. So uh, next one day farm up we got is Volcano. This one 100% seems like a one day farm. Doesn't look too crazy. The market cap is a little bit better than Falcon, but you know, still not that great. If you guys come over here, hit the more, you guys will be able to read the docs, see what's different on this. You know, like I'm always trying to tell you guys, you guys got to figure out what's, uh, what has harvest locks, what doesn't. You know, if this doesn't have a harvest lock, then, you know, is it going to be a bleeder or is it going to be, you know, successful? Will this be another spade or, you know, or will this be basically another bleeder? So after checking out the docs, you know, you guys want to check out that price chart. Make sure you guys see if this is on uptrend or a downtrend. Because, you know, sometimes you guys like to swing trade. And obviously, you know, if you guys come from like doing stocks or doing some any kind of trading, you can trade with these farm tokens. And the best part about it, like I said, is it has a secondary use. So it's not just a complete pure shit coin. After, you know, making a good pump or, you know, whatever it is, you guys can actually still buy down at the dip and then farm it. And if it, if you're, like I'm always telling you guys, if you guys are farming while the price is going up, it's just all free money. So... But uh, you guys already know what's up, so this is going to be a one-day farm. And make sure you guys check out what I told you guys, and you guys won't be surprised by nothing. So, link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Alright, so next one up we got is Poly Bakery, another one-day farm. 
uh, definitely doesn't look crazy. The market cap's a little bit fatter than the rest, which is pretty cool. But um, besides all that, dude, make sure you guys pay attention to the price. It's been pretty volatile. It's been a little left and right. So, you know, make sure you guys just make your moves. Check out the bakes and the breads. Actually, no, not the breads. I apologize. Just check out the bakes because that's their farm. And then um, check out the launch block. And like I said, if you guys don't want to play around with the one-day farms, dude, we got Spade. You guys got Pear Zap. You guys have um, Swamp. You know, these are some pretty strong farms right now. So, you know, so if you guys don't want to run with just these one-day farms, check those out. But like always, dude, one-day farms do make money if you know what to do. So the link will be down in the description, like all the rest. And like always, dude, docs. Make sure you guys check out the docs. You guys don't get surprised by nothing. And make sure you guys hit that info and check out the chart. But uh, with that being said, man, let's move on to another one, Sunset Crypto. I talked about it the other day. It's still not going to pop off for over like eight days, over a whole week. So if you guys want to play around with the price action, go ahead, whip out the uh, price chart. So that way you guys know when to jump in, when to jump out, you know, it's the usual. And then, um, you know, check out the docs so you guys can see what's going on with this farm, see if there's anything special. A lot of the uh, poly token farms have had like, you know, special harvesting mechanisms or like little lockups. So just make sure you guys check out the docs on this and you guys won't be surprised. But uh, since I kind of already went over it, I'm just going to pass and keep moving. And then um, like always, dude, the link's going to be down in the description. So if you guys want to check it out, just look down there. So last one day farm up is Cygnus Finance. So uh, Cygnus, like I said, looks like a one day farm. So it doesn't look too special or nothing to me. The market cap is fatter than the rest, which is chill, considering that this is brand new. But the market cap only lets you know uh, the people that are jumping into the native and playing around. So sometimes even if the market cap is low, it's because, you know, no one's playing with it or no one trusts the uh, the farm. But um, obviously, you know, the market cap's up. So, you know, it's pretty chill. If you guys hit the info, you guys can check out the docs and the chart. So make sure you guys have a price chart up so you guys know what's going on. And then make sure you guys hit the docs. That'll let you know what the uh, transfer tax percentage is. That'll let you know what's going on with the farm, whether they have some kind of secret harvest lockup and they're just not, you know, putting it out in the open. But um, you guys already know the deal. It's always the same thing, all right? Make sure you hit the charts. Make sure you guys hit those docs. Extremely important. Um, besides all that, dude, like I said, to me, this looks like a one-day farm. This doesn't look like a uh, farm that's going to be lasting up forever. But, you know, I also called the same thing when it came to um, this one, the Polygon Farm. Because, you know, if you look at it, if I undo it, you know, this is how it looked. It definitely didn't look amazing. You only had two choices, and the staking pools were the exact same. So, obviously, a one-day farm can pop off. You know, it can do some magic. It can make some work. So, um, if you guys want to check out Cygnix, <clears throat> so uh, if you guys want to check out Cygnix, like I said, the link will be down in the description. Just make sure you guys check out the docs first, read through it. If you guys have any questions, put them down below, you know. You guys know I like to help all you guys out. Or you guys can just go hit the Telegram and then, uh, you know, ask some questions about that. See who's in Cygnus and see what um, strats they're going to be using. So, but um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it for the Polygon side. So, like I said, big hitters to look out for, dude. Swamp Finance. Do not sleep on Swamp, all right? Uh, besides Swamp, uh, check out Pears app. You do not want to be sleeping on Pears app, bro. I'm already, I'm just jumping in. You guys have already seen. And, you know, I'm showing you guys my positions because... It's possible that you guys don't think or don't believe that, you know, I, I find this uh, farm to be that strong. So you guys can see, you know, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. You're going to see this eventually be at 500. So this will be a thousand in here. And like I said, I'm not just throwing in my uh, my Matic or what I have, you know, just to pretend and make it seem. You no, know, I'm not 100 percent, dude. I don't fake the funk, bro. So you guys are going to be seeing this hit 300, 400, 500. As long as Pear can keep its uh, momentum, you guys are going to see me put my money where my mouth is. And you guys are going to see that free money come through. So make sure you guys make your moves according to you, not to me, not to any other YouTube you see. You know, just see what what's going on. Like I said, check the price chart. You guys can see it's strong. If you guys see the TVL, the market cap is strong, then you guys can jump in, you know. But you guys already know what's up. So besides this one, we got a Polygon Farm. Make sure you guys want to check that out, dude. It's been bumping up. To be real with you, this is ATH, so I would be very careful with that. If you guys are already in because, you know, you saw me jump in and you guys threw in, sweet, we're up. So don't even worry about it. Just keep farming. And once this hits back down like 29 bucks or something, if you guys want to bounce, go ahead. Take your profit, shake. If, um, you know, let's say you're barely jumping in, well, like I said, you guys got to be careful. Because obviously I jumped in around $21, $22, and 
we're up we're up like crazy when i did the video i think it was like 26 bucks or something like that so yeah man everyone's up but um yeah man those are the last ones so just uh swamp pear uh spade <laughs> and you know if you guys want to check out the one day farms go ahead do so but um you guys already know what's up man that's been my time if you guys like my con like always dude i always appreciate it when you guys smash that like button for me if you guys have any questions or comments like always dude just throw them down below you see i talk to everybody if uh for some crazy reason you have a crazy question dude go hit up the telegram the community telegram super strong easily over a thousand super beast degen monsters in there dude they know all my strats they know all the little techniques they're gonna help you out 100 percent. all right so make sure you guys check that out and lastly this is the second fifth 10th video of mine that you watch yo and you still ain't subscribed yet hey bro come on now dog <laughs> all right homies y'all stay up all right peace